Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm talking about the clitoris. What is it? What do we need it for? How can we stimulate it? And most importantly, how can we find it? If you want to know all these things, and trust me, you absolutely want to know these things because they are going to change your life and bring you incredible amounts of pleasure, then make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So when we talk about female sexual pleasure, so often we neglect to acknowledge the clitoris at all because the focus around sexual pleasure so often is around this construct of heterosexual sex that is sex between a man and a woman and it's via a penis going into a vagina a lot of women are misled into thinking that that is the most reliable route to having an orgasm a penis goes into your vagina and you are supposed to climax from that and so i get emails and dms from women all the time asking me what's wrong with me why can i not get to orgasm with my partner when we are having penetrative sex. And quite simply, it's because that's actually not the most reliable way to reach climax for most women. In fact, research shows that for roughly two thirds of women, direct sustained clitoral stimulation is the most reliable route to orgasm. So it's really important that you as a woman know about your own clitoris and how to stimulate it. And if you are the partner of a clitoris owner, then you especially need to know this information as well. So let's get into it. But before we get into it, I cannot go on without first thanking today's video sponsor, Beducated. Beducated are an incredible sex education resource. They have amazing detailed sex education programs. I have learned a lot from their courses. A lot of what I know today about sex is thanks to the team over at Beducated. And if you want to learn even more about the clitoris and its functions after today's video, the guys at Beducated are definitely where it's at. They have incredible courses on all your sexual wellness and sex education needs. Research shows couples who educate themselves about intimacy experience a stronger connection and Beducated's online sex education courses help spark that flame. Because when you learn what you like, you can communicate clearer in bed. And Beducated has a whole library of expert backed courses on a variety of topics that you can explore with your partner. The tailor-made teachings for couples include oral sex, tantric massage, kinky sex, threesomes, pleasure mapping, and so much more. And Beducated offer a variety of straightforward ways to learn. From video courses to written guides, cheat sheets, and audio meditations, there's a whole lot to discover. Better still, because Beducated are today's video sponsor, they're offering you guys the opportunity to try all of their courses for one day for free. So you can see for yourself just how good they are. Plus, my subscribers get 70% off the yearly pass by using my coupon code Nadia. So go and sign up for Beducated now and receive access to a huge library of courses. This discount will be locked in for life. It's not only for the first year, but forever. Just hit the link in the description below this video to take advantage of it now and level up your sex life. So what's really interesting about the clitoris is that it has been so neglected from research around sex and sexual pleasure, particularly for women, that its full size was not actually known up until as recently as 1998. Before then, researchers used to think that the clitoris was just this tiny little nub that you could see externally on the vulva just above the urethra. But we now know that the clitoris is almost the same size as an average penis because that little nub that we can see from the outside is just a small part of it. It's really just the tip. The clitoris actually runs deep down inside the body into a wishbone shape that butts up against the G-spot and so has the power to deliver absolutely life-changing pleasure. So thank goodness we are finally starting to realize just how powerful this very underrated body part is. Now, in terms of how to find it, the best way to find it is going to be to actually sit down with your legs spread open and your underwear taken off and put a mirror in between your legs. And this might seem a little intimidating if you've never done it before, because as women, we are taught to feel a lot of shame and embarrassment and discomfort around looking at our own vulvas. 
But let me tell you, if you cannot look down there at yourself, you're gonna have a very hard time finding all of those right spots to pleasure, let alone communicating this to your partner. So you really need to take this step. And then what you wanna do when you're down there is just pull back your lips, that's your labia minora and your labia majora, and really take a look. And what you will see is you will see two holes. So the one that you can see toward the bottom, that's your vaginal opening. That's the opening to your vagina. So that's where your partner might put their penis or fingers or a dildo. And then above that, you will see the urethra and that is the hole that you urinate out of. And then finally above that, you should see a small nub. It sort of looks a little bit like a pea and that is your clitoris. Now the clitoris is also partially covered by something called a clitoral hood. That is there to protect the clitoris because it is so sensitive and it has so many nerve endings. In fact, the clitoris actually has around 8,000 nerve endings in it, which is more nerve endings than you would even find in the head of the penis. So let me tell you, I cannot emphasize this enough, the clitoris is a pleasure powerhouse. But for some women, the clitoral hood will be bigger than others, and that can mean that it obscures the clitoris a little bit more and makes it harder to find. So making sure that you have clean, sterilized hands and trim nails, what you can do is just very gently pull back that clitoral hood so you can expose the clitoris and see it for yourself and you will see that little bump and when you touch it, it will feel quite sensitive. That is your clitoris. Now, as you get aroused, that clitoral hood naturally just starts to retract so the clitoris will get more and more exposed. So it's also easier for you or your partner to find. Now that you've found it, let's get into stimulating it. So the best way to stimulate the clitoris is with very small, gentle, repetitious strokes of the finger. And this can be your fingers or your partner's fingers. Now I recommend using two fingers and I recommend concentrating on just the top section of your finger. So just the padded part, because that's the softest part. We don't wanna be putting too much pressure onto the clitoris because we know it has all those nerve endings and we don't wanna be overstimulating it. And then what you wanna do is just using a couple of drops of lube because lube is going to reduce the friction so it's gonna be nice and smooth and comfortable. Just do a very small seesawing motion. So you're going back and forth with a very slight rock in your fingers. And then really just experiment with the pressure and the speed. So start out with very gentle pressure going very slow and then try applying a bit more pressure down and then going a little bit faster until you find what is right for you. Another great way of stimulating the clitoris is to go around in circles. This can be particularly effective for women who find that one side of their clitoris is a little bit more sensitive than the other side. This is not uncommon at all. Some women will have like a sensitive right side of their clitoris or a sensitive left side of their clitoris. So circling around will help you find if one side is more sensitive than the other. Now, if digital stimulation isn't really doing a lot, as in you're not really feeling a lot of sensation from it, then what I would recommend is incorporating a small handheld clitoral vibrator. And vibrate can be really helpful for women who have decreased genital sensitivity. Certain medications, things like antidepressants, even the birth control pill, and even just actually menopause and the aging process can dull your clitoral sensitivity. And so when you touch your clitoris, you might not actually feel a great deal of sensation from it. A vibrator is going to put vibrations through your clitoris that are gonna increase blood flow into the clitoris so that it resensitizes the clitoris and the clitoris gets nicely engorged which is what you want it to be doing because that's what happens to the clitoris right before you orgasm. I want to say thank you again to the team at Beducated. They are a long time supporter and partner of this channel and I wouldn't be where I am without them. And thank you to you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more videos just like it, give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet because I want y'all to join my sex positive family. I'm here every week with new videos about sex education, relationships, and everything in between. So I'll see you all in the next video.